Mankind has been fascinated by the idea of building something in our own image for centuries. Technology is only just catching up with our dreams these days, and humanoid robots are slowly but surely becoming a reality. The kind of reality that pop culture assures us is going to kill us all. Now it's easy enough to laugh and say, this is how Skynet starts when we see artificial intelligence and robots, but the fact is robots have been killing us for quite a while now. Often unintentionally, but not always. Number 10. Ford's Robot Arm Real practical robots are few and far between in our everyday lives. The most common and recognizable ones are robot arms. They're ubiquitous in factories, and they date all the way back to 1954 when the first robot arm was patented. They perform repetitive tasks with a computer programmed accuracy, doing jobs that are monotonous, and even help mitigate accidents. The idea was that a robot could more safely do dangerous tasks that would allow humans to focus on less dangerous ones. Despite the intention being less injury, the road to hell is paved with good intentions that were constructed by robot arms. The first First time a human life was lost at the hands of a robot, or most literally in this case, was in 1979 at a Ford factory. Factory worker Robert Williams was asked to do a manual count of parts because a robot was giving inaccurate counts. He had to climb a five-story shelving unit to count all of the parts, and while he was there, a second robot that no one had disabled continued to do its job, which included taking parts off of those shelves. It reached in and hit Williams in the head. Reports say he died instantly, but no one realized it even happened for at least half an hour. Number 9. The Japanese AI Conspiracy This entry comes with a very large grain of salt. The story is about how military robots killed 29 scientists in a facility in Japan. Sounds pretty terrifying, right? Well, don't lock your doors just yet. There is a questionable layer to this tale which needs to be addressed as well. Namely, it seems like maybe this never actually happened. The conspiracy states that there were four autonomous military robots. Two were deactivated and the third was taken apart. But the fourth one? Well, according to award-winning journalist Linda Moulton Howe, it connected to a satellite network and taught itself how to build itself even stronger than it had originally been designed. It should be noted that Howe, despite being a prominent name in journalism in the 1970s and 80s, is more known for her belief in UFOs these days. Snopes says the story has no veracity at all, but Howe insists that a contact at the CIA confirmed it for her. The story exploded after Howe gave a talk. The video has been viewed over 8 million times and gave rise to a meme. So even if the real event never occurred, a lot of people likely think it did. Number 8. The Ventra Ionia Arm the Ventra Ionia factory welds and stamps truck bumpers. The employees work alongside robots to get the job done, the same as in many auto manufacturing facilities around the world. Any of these facilities has to be set up and operated in a safe and efficient way. In order to avoid accidents, humans need to stay in human safe areas and away from where the robots operate. These are not artificial intelligences after all. They do what they're programmed to do, so if a person gets in the way, the robots have no way to know. Back in 2015, Wanda Holbrook was exactly where she was supposed to be in the factory. This was not a case of human ignoring safety protocols and taking a risk. She was working in her own section and being responsible. She had no way to predict that a robot arm was going to enter her workspace where it was not programmed to be. The arm hit Holbrook on the head and killed her. It was reported that other employees had noted that same day that something was wrong. The robot that killed Wanda was trying to perform a task that had already been performed in a place that it was not meant to be performed. Holbrook's husband filed a wrongful death lawsuit against five robotics companies. The death happened in 2015. The lawsuit was filed in 2017 and the trial ended in 2021 when a settlement was reached. Number 7. Volkswagen Germany Plants Oftentimes when a robot causes the death of someone in a factory, it's the result of human error. The robot was doing what it was supposed to do and somehow a person got in the mix. Usually that means some kind of safety measure went awry. But for a contractor in Germany back in 2015, things were a little harder to explain. A 22-year-old man died while a robot was being installed. It wasn't as though someone wandered into the area without following safety protocols. The worker was actually there to work on the robot itself, which is what made the situation so hard to explain. It should not have been functioning, but because the man was inside the unsafe zone around the robot, when it did activate, he was in a bad spot. The arm crushed the man against a metal plate, and then he died later as a result of his injuries. Number 6. The Kawasaki Robot Arm Though a robot arm had caused a fatality in America in 1979, the first accident to compare it to in Japan happened just two years later in 1981. Kenji Arada was working at a Kawasaki plant when a robot he was working near malfunctioned in some way. Arada broke safety protocol and entered an area where humans were not supposed to be in an effort to repair it. Arada was supposed to enter the proper way by opening a gate that would shut off power. For whatever reason, he jumped over the gate instead of opening it. The result was that the power stayed on. Arada accidentally hit the power Power button as he attempted to fix the arm. It powered on and crushed his body against a wall. By the time he was able to be extricated, 
it was too late. Number 5. Robot Suicide Suicide is a serious and devastating issue that claims over 700,000 lives per year. It's important to recognize the signs of people who need help, just like it's important to know that help is available when you need it. Sadly, 81-year-old Francis Pete Dovey of Australia was not able to find the help that he needed in 2008. Instead, the man set about conducting some research on the internet that allowed him to create a robot suicide machine. Dovey set up his machine in the driveway of his home, feeling that if he succeeded, some nearby construction workers would be able to find his body. He gave no reason for why he did what he did and his neighbors said that he seemed like a nice guy. The robot was a simple mechanism that was armed with a 22 caliber gun and four bullets. It shot him three times in the head. Number 4. SGR A1 Sentries a hot button issue these days, and we'll cover this again shortly, is the ethics behind autonomous killing machines. Is there ever a time when we can fully trust a robot to decide when and if it's okay to take human life? Who gets to program a robot to do these things, and what are the parameters? There are a lot of questions at play, with a lot of very scary ramifications. And these questions need answers, because autonomous killing machines do exist, and They've been at work for a few years now. While you won't see a killing robot down at the local Taco Bell, if you head down to the DMZ between North and South Korea, you'll find SGR A1 sentry robots. Over 200 incursions have been attempted through this area, despite the fact that it's heavily guarded on both sides. And that's why the robot sentries were introduced. The machines are loaded with a thousand rounds of ammo, a grenade launcher, thermal cameras, laser rangefinders, voice recognition, and more to keep track of everyone who may approach and eliminate those who don't belong. So, how many robots? are there and have they actually killed anyone well no one knows because that's classified but they've been in place for over a decade now number three the dallas bomb robot bomb disposal robots are not unheard of and probably most people have seen one if not on the news then in movies they've been in use since the 1970s they're actually fairly simple machines that are remotely controlled and designed to allow law enforcement access to a dangerous area without risking loss of life as the name suggests these get sent in to trigger or dismantle bombs so technically these things are meant to save lives Technically. In 2016, the police department in Dallas somewhat repurposed their bomb robot. A sniper had started taking out police officers, and five were already dead, while seven more were injured. Police rigged their bomb disposal robot with a bomb and sent it into the room where the shooter was taking cover after negotiations broke down. The explosion went off, and the subject was killed immediately. It was the first time in history that police had used a robot to intentionally kill someone. Number 2. The Self-Driving Uber 20 years ago, the idea of robots actually influencing our lives was a lot more fictitious than it is today. We'd still joke about the Terminator or the Matrix one day becoming real, but today, robots that have a direct and real impact on our everyday lives are real, and they're out among us all the time, even if they don't look like the giant metal squids of the Matrix or the skeletons of Terminator. Take for instance the self-driving car. They've already caused human fatalities. Elaine Herzberg was riding her bike in 2018 when an Uber ran into her at 39 miles an hour. There was a human in the car at the time, but they were watching an episode of The Voice on their phone. The driving was being done by the car's AI. Self-driving cars are intended to have a real human backup behind the wheel in case something goes wrong. But if the driver is watching TV and not paying attention, they're obviously not very helpful. The driver was charged with negligent homicide because a human is supposed to be the safety net behind a self-driving car. The trial has been delayed several times due to COVID. However, so there's no word yet on whether human or machine will ultimately be held responsible. Number 1. The AI Machine Gun Robots killing humans by accident are terrifying. Robots designed explicitly to kill humans are a dystopian nightmare. The AI machine gun is about as simple, brutal, and horrifying as any robot could possibly be. In 2020, an Iranian nuclear scientist was shot to death near Tehran. General Ali Fadavi, the second highest ranking official in Iran's Islam Revolutionary Guard Corps, said the weapon that killed the scientist fired with such pinpoint accuracy that it was able to take him out but not hit his wife, who was sitting right next to him. It's noted that this claim has not been verified elsewhere. So, well, what actually happened? The official words that we have is that Israel assassinated the scientist, known as the father of the Iranian bomb, with the backing of the United States. A satellite-controlled AI machine used facial recognition to target the scientist and take him out from the back of a pickup truck that later exploded. The attack lasted just three minutes. 